हेलो रिवान वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ग्रो विद ममता सो गाइज आई एम योर फ्रेंड ममता फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज हाउ हैव यू बीन डूइंग आई होप यू ऑल गाइज वुड बी डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ एंड योर इंग्लिस इज गोइंग वेल ओके गाइज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट I fumble a lot while speaking in English. I fumble a lot whenever I am having a conversation to someone. I am trying to talk to someone. Whenever I am trying to express my thoughts, my feelings in English, I fumble a lot. First of all, I am going to talk about this issue, uh, and uh, I know I am going to talk about those causes, those reasons behind it, why we fumble, and uh, second thing uh, that I am going to. talk about i'm going to give you some kind of um, uh, practical and uh, real solution that you can execute in your life that you can uh, implement in your life and you can get rid of this normal problem and first of all i would like to tell you it is not a very big deal it is very normal and simple problem it happens with every one it was happening with me a lot but um uh, as i'm growing into it eventually it is decreasing right now uh, but sometimes it happens with me so the first reason that i think before speaking before talking to someone before having a conversation what we do first thing the first mistake that we make we start feeling and confident we start feeling unconfident we feel when i will talk to that person somewhere or the other you know unintentionally unknowingly you are giving instructions your brain your mind you are giving instructions your mind your subconscious mind conscious mind whatever it is that you are going to talk to that person you will not be able to come up with the right words you will not be able to express yourself second reason that i'm going to talk about we try to speak fast english we think i am a much more faster even today we are learning it it is just a language we cannot learn it in a very fast way in a rush it is a language little by little we will learn it okay so we try to speak very fast english and we try to show it off that i am more fluent this is the problem we know what you know you try to speak that and language means the person who is listening to you that person should be feeling comfortable with you that person would be able to understand you whatever you are trying to explain to that person that is that is the meaning of a language okay so make sure the person who is talking to you that should be feeling comfortable with you and that person would be able to understand each and every word whatever you are trying to explain to that person okay this is the uh, another thing that i have talked about it these are the reasons why we fumble and uh, i think we try to speak perfect english we think i do not want to make mistakes and mistakes are the only way to learn the mistakes are only way to speak right english because when you make mistakes so then you realize oh my god this is the mistake and next time you you think i don't have to speak that then your brain and your mind is going to recognize that that this is i don't have to repeat okay so if uh, for the first time you are making a mistake that's not a mistake okay and the second time if you are making that if you are repeating that mistake again over again that is mistake that i think that is blunder okay make sure you are not repeating a mistake again and again first time it's normal okay these are the reasons i think as far as i i am concerned the first solution start feeling confident <laughs> confidence is something that we can build it's like muscle as we exercise as many of you would be going to gym to build your muscles so some confidence is like this you can build it how you can build it you uh, know in, in those situation where you feel uncomfortable where you feel uh, like unconfident try to be in that try to create that actually don't try to wait for opportunity wait for situations try to create a situation for you where you can build your confidence for example 
you have a stage fear so take this challenge according to me first solution build confidence you know so courage and bravery okay don't think about the people are going to mock you or you know they are going to um, you, you would be looking a fun people don't think like this as much as you think okay stop this bad thinking and the second thing that i really want to tell you second solution of it would be um, we have to use substitutions for example sometimes we are not able to come up with the right word ap- appropriate words while speaking while talking to someone okay for example i want to say my sister is looking drop dead gorgeous a uh, drop dead gorgeous means very extremely beautiful nice so uh, if i'm not able to come up with this word so i can use another words i can substitute it and i can use wow my sister is extremely beautiful okay or i can say nice in so many words that i can if you're not able to you come up with proper and appropriate words try to use less appropriate words okay substitutes the idea of substitution will always work for you and it always work it always works for me i try to use it sometimes i'm not able to uh, you know whatever um, so many words are in my mind and i'm not able to come up with those words so i try to come up with less appropriate words i'm not able to use if i'm not able to use a more advanced and appropriate and proper words so i try to use less and less whatever that should be understandable and whatever you are trying to speak that should be understandable okay you your focus should be on the person who is talking to you is that person able to understand to you or not this is the meaning of a language okay use some filler words filler words means while talking to someone whenever we are um, having a conversation someone is asking some questions and we think before talking we think but it is not our mother tongue mother tongue is something that we are blessed with <laughs> we are heroes at all <laughs> okay so it's uh, i think uh, we can never ever be as fluent as we are in our mother tongue i think <laughs> so so whenever someone is asking question you have 10 to uh, maximum 30 seconds to reply to that person so you you have to think what should be answer about it you do not want to split the speech you do not want to split conversation you do not want to stop in middle you know so what you can do you can say some of the filler words for example that person is asking something about your past so you are thinking what was that so you you know you you shouldn't you shouldn't be like this mm, you you can say what was that what was that oh i was playing at that moment in this way you can say or whenever you are trying to remember like this and you can say you know mm, you know you know you know that was amazing you know you can use the word you know filler words filler word i'm asking you hey when you start speaking english when you start having a conversation in english how you feel and you're thinking how i feel when i start speaking in english and you're thinking but you don't need to stop you don't need to split your speech you can uh, uh, say like this your expression should be like this you can say uh, when i start speaking in english um it's like i feel i feel it's very very uncomfortable so we can use the word it's like it's like when we, whenever we are feeling something whenever we are trying to explain uh, some feelings we can use this filler word it's like it's like <laughs> you know and um, you can say you can use so many filler words out there there are a lot of uh, lots and lots of filler words that you can use to maintain your um, speech and whenever you are having a conversation i hope this video would be a little bit helpful for you jab bhi aap fumble hote hain because of lack of confidence hum confidence nahi hote confident nahi hote hum hum sochte hain ki hum acche se bol nahi payenge hum pehle hi ye bol dete hain apne mind ko ye instruction de dete hain ki main fumble ho jaunga मैं बोल नहीं पाऊँगा मैं एबल नहीं हूँ तो अब जो हम बोल देंगे तो वो माइंड फॉलो करेगा ही करेगा तो आपको रादर सेंग लाइक दिस इन स्टार्ट ऑफ सेंग लाइक दिस यू कैन से ओके मैं जा रहा हूँ बोले मैं स्टक भी करूँगा फंबल भी होऊँगा लेकिन बोलूँगा बोलूँगी बोलूँगा नो मैटर वॉट ऐसा एटीट्यूड फंबल होऊँगा तो क्या हुआ फिर भी बोलूँगा 
वॉट एडवेंचर इट्स लाइक एडवेंचरस कि आपको पता है कि फेल हो जाऊँगा आपको पता है कि ये नहीं हो पाएगा फिर भी आप उसको पूरा एकदम एनर्जी से लगे हुए हैं ये एडवेंचर गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो अप टू द वेरी एंड प्लीज डू रिमेंबर प्लीज प्लीज डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर टू माई चैनल शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड सो गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो एंड बाय बाय एंड टेक केयर